Hey there and welcome to Baiju's 6th, 7th and 8th grade channel. I'm your teacher Aishwarya and in this particular video of Concept Bytes, we are going to be learning about the structure and function of the root and stem. Now these are two very important topics from the chapter getting to know plants. So I hope all of you are excited for today's class not just with me but Ankita ma'am as well. So let's get started with understanding about the structure of the plant and in-depth understanding of root and stem from Ankita ma'am. Let's get started. So we here we'll be discussing about the plants right. Now plants are really very important. We know that plants are very, very important for all the living organisms that we have on the planet Earth. And we'll be looking at the different parts of a plant. So here we have the roots, then we have stem, we have leaves, we have flowers and we have fruits. So these are the important parts that we have of a plant and we'll be going into the details and we'll be discussing about each one of them. So this is what we'll be learning in today's class. So we have uh, broadly categorized this whole chapter into the four subtopics that will be helping us to keep a track of our learning and we'll be making our learning super easy. So we have roots, their structure and function, flowers, their structure and function. We'll be discussing about the stems and the leaf, their structure and the function altogether. Starting with the roots. So let's just discuss about them. So when we talk about the roots, right? Now we don't see roots but they are the one that provides the anchorage to the plant, right? They are beneath, right? And of course, as we see the plant, from the seed, it will grow into a huge plant, right? And it has two important parts. It has root and the shoot part. So root, of course, we know it's underground and shoot is a stem which is above the ground. So from seed to this plant, we have different parts and we have two super important parts, which is root and the shoot. So roots plays a very important role. It actually helps in the absorption of water and minerals from the soil, provide the anchorage also. So here, if we talk in terms of the function, this is how you can write the answer. In the examination, can come for two marks, write the function of the roots. And here we have, they provide the anchorage to the plants and of course, help in preventing the loss of the top soil. So if the plants are there, they'll be holding the top layer of the soil, which is the most fertile layer of soil. If the plants are not there, the top layer we might lose. So these are the two very important functions and of course apart from that, roots are the ones that actually help in the absorption of water and minerals from the soil to the whole plant. See over here, water and minerals will be moving from the roots, they'll be entering into the plants and will moving throughout the plants. So hence, roots become really very important. When we discuss about the roots, there are two different types of roots that we see in various plants. And we have tap root and we have fibrous root. So tap root, if you look over here, they have a main root, right? They have a main root. And from that main root, we will see different branches arising. That's a tap root system. And then we have the fibrous root where there's no main root, right? Over here, we have a main root. But in a fibrous root, we don't have a main root. And from this particular bunch, we will see a lot of branches, a lot of thread-like structures that are coming. These are the two different types of roots we have, tap root and the fibrous root. So that's all about the root. Now let's discuss about the stem. Now of course stem or the shoot is above the ground. In that also we have different categories altogether, right? So we have uh, different types of plants based upon the stem that they have. So we have herbs, trees, creepers, we have shrubs and climbers, right? Let's discuss about each one of them in detail. So we have the herbs, right? These are the small plants, they're very, very small plants. They don't have a woody stem as, uh, right? And they have a very soft and tender stem. The, the stem is mostly in green in color. And of course, we have the examples like grass over here, right? Of course, we can see this over here. And of course, we have the tulsi, right? And small uh, herbs that we have uh, around at our homes also, right? So that is the example. Then of course, we have the shrubs. Now shrubs have a small to the medium size, right? They have a, they has a heart, but not very, very woody stem. They had a heart, a little bit of moderate and thick woody stem. The, the stem will develop, uh, definitely will have the branches from the, at the base, right? And the examples for this is the lemon, lemon tree, the rose, orange and peaches are the one that will fall under the category of shrubs. Then we have the large trees. Now they are really very tall. They have a very hard, thick, woody stem. They have basically we call as a trunk, right? The stem, the trunk has branches in the upper part. So of course, if you look over here, 
will not have the branches at the base only but we will have the branches arising at the upper part right and they will be much above the ground an example of course we have of mango jackfruit and coconut trees so these are the trees uh, in uh, you know and of course these are important examples so please make sure you remember the characteristics of each one of these because all of these are really very important for the exam point of view then we have the two very special type we have creepers and then we have climbers so creepers of course they have a weak stem and they spread on the ground so they are the one they will not be able to you know, climb so of course they are the one that are just growing on the ground they spread themselves on the ground right so they have a very weak stem and the examples for them uh, the example that we will definitely remember over here is watermelon strawberries and pumpkin right then we have the climbers as the words just climbers they are the one that climbs right they have a weak stem but when given a pro provided a, a good support they will be climbing up an example over here is cucumber grapevine and i'm sure a very common plant that all of us have seen at our home is the money plant is an example of a climber so we have discussed about the different types of plants based upon the structure of the stem and we have important five categories we have herbs we have shrubs tree climbers and the creepers so please make a point to remember all of these this is really important and super easy now that we are clear with this let's discuss about the functions of the stem now we know that the stem is above the ground right definitely it will be helping in in providing basically the structure all to get together it will be holding the leaves fruits flowers and right it plays a very important role right and uh, it will be providing the support also all together so these are the important functions of the stem so quickly to summarize we learned about the importance of plants in this particular video we learned about its basic structure right so we see that plants that are there have root stem leaf flowers as well as fruits and in today's video we learned about the importance of roots what are the two types of roots that we have where we have tap root and we have fibrous root yes and then of course we learned about the stem and how plants can be categorized into different groups right as root as shrubs uh, herbs trees right all the categorizations of creepers and climbers bases on what type of stem they have and along with that we learned about the functions of stem and why they are important so very quickly students I, here's a quick homework question for you where i want you to tell me the difference between tap root as well as fibrous root and this is a homework question that i request you to write in the comments of this video and if you found this particular video helpful in your preparation for your examination then you know what to do by do 6th 7th and 8th grade channel is the place for all of you that will give you the best quality education not just for your academic exams but also for olympic because we truly believe that champions are made here so do not forget to hit the subscribe button on this channel and do not forget to like this video we will be coming up with more such interesting concept capsules but up until then everybody take care lots of love and bye bye